All right, in this video, we are going to edit the article. And I'll just click right here in this section. And it's going to give me my article. Now, this little picture here, this is just for um, reference for you. So these are actually what your blog posts, uh, pages, all that stuff are going to have, OK? So this little picture, it doesn't matter. It's not going to be on your website. The styling, uh, you can select your different shapes, your margins. Um, actually, I'll make the margin three, uh, and the padding, make that three as well. All right, now you can come in and play with your text here so this one's to Tahoma um, actually I like ver oh, past it to you oh, where are you at so we're gonna select our text and I'm scrolling too fast and actually I don't see what I want in here uh, we'll just make it comic sans and we'll make it regular and we'll make the size I like people to be able to read my blogs a lot of blog uh, text is really small so we'll select 14 and we can see how that looks right here and click OK so that's good um, you can have it you know set up so it's the line left center right or you know just like that so we can select this you can select you know your margins line spacing so if you don't want to have line breaks in between you can just come in here and select zero zero and okay and you know character spacing I we'll just leave that alone uh, the next thing we want to look at is we're gonna look at all this stuff headings hyperlinks quotes I don't play with tables but if you want to you can play with the table image bullets so we're gonna take a look down here and we can see what our headings look like now we'll go to heading one and we'll select our chiller again Select chiller. Um, we'll make it bold, and we can see what size it is. Actually, we'll make it. Um, ooh, that's a little bit way too small. All right, that'll work. We'll click OK and actually I want to make the color in my h1 tags uh, make things a little bit consistent here so that's how heading one would look and then I can do the same thing with my h2 h3 and so on you see how that works uh, hyperlinks so you can check out your links what color your links gonna be actually I want to make the links uh, blue okay so you can see that there's the blue and this is the um, this is for the link and then you have visited link and a hovered link so all it, you're gonna do the same thing with all of them and let's say I don't want to underline it so I'll select don't underline and 
the next thing we'll get into is our quote box so what do we want uh, padding says 15 make the padding 4 on our text box or our quote uh, the fill I really don't like that color uh, it's a little bit light it's a little bit dark but we can go in and lighten that up by going to our color more colors nope hmm fill more colors okay there we go we'll lighten it up a little bit make it like that that looks good um, border style I'll make it three and we'll make it dashes and um, color uh, we'll use this red right here and let's see we'll change our little icon here let's see we just use this one and there that is bullets so you can select um, <coughs> you can see these are your bullets right here so it's got this selected so we can select from any of these things that we have here or we can actually select an image which we'll just make my little barbecue that's it pretty cool and with our images we're gonna go back up here and take a look at our image so we'll look at the image uh, border 3 border style um, let's use that there border color we we'll use this color here and you can see that's what that is now we want to look at the margin and you can see that it's 10 but I'll do 5 alright alrighty um, let's see Oh no, I use 15. Okay, that's better. All right, now we can go into our header layout. So no block, headline meta, whatever. You can do all that stuff, or you can come up here and go date. If I don't want to show the date, I take that off. I take the author off, and take that out. Right, and then. We'll go back down to the very bottom and we can see our categories, tags, and comments. So if I want to make my categories, they have different icons. You can make it whatever. But we'll go ahead and make it our barbecue. And we'll make our tags, same thing. Select the barbecue and we'll take the comments uh, we won't show comments boom and that's it for editing your article it's that easy the next video we're gonna get into the sidebars